Hey, it's Francoeur, and I want to talk to you today about how to create a beautiful garden on a narrow strip of land with privacy. Three requirements there. Well, look at where I am. I'm on an urban rooftop garden surrounded by buildings, other apartment buildings and houses. I have no privacy whatsoever on three sides. So, what did I do? Well, on the front of the rooftop, it's um, 20 feet long, and I'm literally looking out on the street and then straight across to my neighbors. Not a pretty sight. So, I first built con raised container beds here, the length of um, the rooftop, which is 20 feet, as I said earlier, and it's narrow. It's only 30 inches wide, which really limited the kind of garden um, that I was able to create. Second, I thought, okay, what plant material do I want to use as my cover, my privacy? I went to my wholesaler. I knew miscanthus would be way too large, most of the miscanthus. And I was so excited that I found Panicum Brigadum Northwind. I had used it in my garden in Bryn Mawr. Love it. It's an introduction from Roy Diblick, which a lot of you know from Northwind Perennial Farm. So yay, I have an American native right here in the Mediterranean. Next step, so I, I put it in last year and I knew it was going to really grow a lot and take a, a tremendous amount of space. You can see what it looks like now. It's just phenomenal. And for those of you who live in um, cold climates, even though I get the, I keep it going 11 months out of the year, you can still have this grass going for a good eight, nine months to give you the cover that you want, the privacy that you want. Next, I saw how much of the um, width I would have left, and it wasn't a lot. So I layered in next Penicetum to give it a bit more texture of the green. I love the evergreen. And this Penicetum, it's Penicetum Hamlin, is a dwarf fountain grass. And the beauty of it is it just kind of falls over and drapes over, but it, 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 it's not in full bloom yet, but you can see what it looks like here. So it works beautifully with the inflorescence and the height of this panicum that is really about four feet tall, but once you get these inflorescence in, it's up to six feet tall.